Hold. What's your business? In case you haven't noticed, friend, we're in the middle of a siege. I've been sent to help, Sergeant. Shaw's bones. It's good to see another competent fighter. General Serian has dug into Fort Virak like a tick on a dog, and we're having a cursed hard time digging him out. The Covenant has taken Fort Virak and reinforced her walls. Strong Nord reinforcements are waiting for us in the rift, but this fort keeps them bottled up. Our catapults can't crack the walls, and they've repelled every attack so far. How can I help? Garen Inderol is leading the charge. You can find him at the command tent west of here. Word is we've got General Serian backed into a corner. May kind speed you. Split some Covenant skulls for me. I'll head to the command tent. By the three. Good to see you again, my friend. What's going on here? My spies are telling me General Sarian sent most of his forces to Vivek's antlers. He shouldn't have the strength to hold Fort Virak, but he's repelling our attacks. I think I know how he's doing this. I hope I'm wrong. How can I help Garen? You're the only one I trust to do this. Go to the front lines. This sounds gruesome, but I need you to inspect the bodies of Covenant troops after they fall. Look for anything, well, unusual, and be discreet. I don't want the troops to panic. Did you find anything suspicious? The soldiers fighting our troops were... rotting. Now you can see why I had you investigate. I didn't want to panic my troops. After each day of fighting, we've allowed the enemy to collect their dead, out of respect. Sarian is raising them at night to face us again the next day. How do I put a stop to this? That old lizard, Wax, came to me with a plan to infiltrate the fort. I told her it was too risky. Now we're fighting a losing battle. It's time to take a risk. Walks in ash, and an elite squad are in the ruins under the fort. She'll explain the rest. I've gathered some of our most skilled fighters here. We're poised to infiltrate the fort as soon as the way is open. You're the perfect fit for my plan, my friend. What's your plan? My grandsire was a powerful shaman. He passed down an ancient formula for an elixir that allows a traveler to walk in the other world between the living and the dead. 
It works on those who've become attuned to the realms beyond. And you think I'm already attuned? You're different. You must know that. Not all of you is with us, yes? That makes you the perfect candidate for the elixir. Using the elixir, you can pass through the catacombs beneath Fort Varak. Find the door, open the way, and end this siege. Do you want me to drink the elixir? Yes, drink it. Then you'll be able to go where we cannot. Of course, not all in the other world will welcome you. Contact with the beyond could be unpleasant, so avoid any creatures you see there. Good luck. Like eels through seagrass we're inside. Well done. As we speak, my troops are attacking the fort's main yard. So the fort is ours? We still have plenty of work to do. Without reinforcements, these troops won't last long. And I'm sure Sarian won't give up without a fight. The real battle has just begun. It's time to finish off General Sarian and his abominations. Then we can reclaim Fort Virok for the Pact. Holgan and Tanvil have rallied the Nord and Dark Elf troops. They're just waiting for the signal that the gates are unbarred. I'll remove the bars. Where should I look for Sarian? After the gates are unbarred, look for Sarian in the Fortress Keep. We think he's holed up inside, studying his spellbooks. Blood for the Pact. I'll unbar the gates and then go looking for General Sarian. Make it. Don't you worry. We'll meet you in the secured area. For the pact!
Triumphs of a Monarch, Chapter 10. By His Majesty King Emmerich. Chapter 10, The Summons of Destiny. And that, dear reader, is my story. You have read now of my carefree youth in Cumberland House, how my father Lord Pyrrhic saw to my training in the crafts of trade, of war, and of state, of my first great victory over Durkorak at the gates of Daggerfall, and of the vast Oracalcum load our family struck in the Cumberland mine. You have heard of the tragic coming of the Manhattan flu, how it took both my father and the entire royal family of Weirist, leaving our kingdom leaderless in a time of chaos. You now know with what reluctance I was persuaded to assume the throne of Weirist. You know of the halo of gold that outlined the sun on the day of my coronation. That omen of approval by the divines dispelled all my doubts and converted even my most envious rivals into heartfelt allies. You have now learned the true history of Rance's war, and how it led to the second, or greater, Daggerfall Covenant, embracing the Red Guards of Hammerfell as well as the Orcs of Orsinium, who came to our aid in our hour of direst need. The free peoples of Northwest Tamriel vowed to stand together against all threats, be they from within or without. We were soon tested, in second era 578 the Emperor Varan, with whom I had concluded a treaty, disappeared from the Imperial City, and Cyrodiil once again fell under the pall of the Daedric Cabal. In Varan's unexplained absence the Empress Clivia, a descendant of the savage Reachman, assumed the ruby throne. Since then, the heart of the Empire has fallen into madness, murder, and decay. It is fortunate for our peoples, indeed, for all the peoples of Tamriel, that the true flame of the Empire of Man still burns in the Daggerfall Covenant. These are terrible times, but our destiny lies before us as straight and true as the Reman roads. We must march on Cyrodiil, overthrow the false Empress and all her brood, and restore the Empire of Tamriel. Then once more peace and justice will rule the provinces, rather than blood and fire. Excellent work. Meet Wax in Ash and me when you're finished. Too late. You've come too late. Are you alright, soldier? Where's General Sarian? He's gone. That milk drinker was experimenting on us. Turning us into fodder for his undead legion. He turned them. Turned me too. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. What can I do? Too late for me. Dying. Then I'll reanimate. Sarian's planning something. Some necromantic ritual. Got to stop him. Look, you've got to end us. Take a candle to the journals. Fire will do the rest. Go!
I'm so glad to see you. The yard is secure. Once again, the pact controls Fort Virak. Yet General Serian still lives. Where is he? He has much to answer for. General Serian is in the keep. He's turning soldiers into zombies. That Covenant General is a monster! Thank you, soldier. We'll ensure the dead rest peacefully. We can't let General Serian finish his ritual. Garin and I are ready to dispel his wards. Get ready for a fight, soldier. What will I face beyond the gate? You'll face the dead. I don't know how he's doing it, but Serian has transformed our warriors into undead slaves. Once the ward is down, enter the gate. Make your way to the keep and confront General Serian. We'll join you as soon as we can. I'll put an end to General Serian. The ward has been dispelled. Go find Sarian. We'll join you as soon as we've recovered our strength. We've done it! The general is dead! Yeah! No! I must not fail. Not Garin! Not Garin! A daggerful covenant took my son! Tanfa! No! The coral heart is too powerful! No, Hogan! The Covenant must pay! Tanvor... What have you done? Yeah. Shaw's bones. tanvor has gone mad. I can't believe he took the Coral Heart. And Garin! Curse the fates. The wolves are circling, my friend. Why would Tanvil steal the Coral Heart? He's planning to use it to release Sadal, the second brother of Strife. We've got to stop him. All of Stonefalls will suffer if Tanvil exploits the tormented spire. Absolutely. Troll's blood. Anything could break us apart these days. How do you think the Argonians and my fellow Nords will react to this? If Tarnvol summons yet another magical juggernaut into the Ashlands, it could very well be the end of the pact. How do I stop him? 
There's only one place he could have gone. Cragenmore. The city is the gateway to Tormented Spire. To get past the wards at the base of the mountain, he'd need to talk to the Drez Grandmaster that holds the key. Go, and stop him. I'll head to Cragenmore then. Go, my friend. Stop Tanvor from getting himself killed. I've already lost too much today. Holgen, can I ask you a question or two? I'm wounded, curse it, but I'll try to answer any questions you have. Who is Sudor? Sadal is the second greater brother of Strife. We put Balrath back into his cage at Ash Mountain, but his ancient fiery brother still lurks in the heart of the tormented spire. We can't allow Tarnvol to let that monster out. What is the tormented spire? Another one of these cursed Morrowind volcanoes. Like Ash Mountain, they made the spire into a mystic prison to hold a brother of strife. It's south of Virak, just beyond the town of Cragenmore. Is something wrong with Cragenmore? It's a bastion of House Drez, and their Grandmaster is the only one with access to the mountain. The spire has a mystic veil that stops anyone from wandering to the top. To get to the spire, we'll have to deal with the Drez. Why do you think Tanvol did this? Garen is why. He was Tanvol's only child. For all the medals and honors he received during the war, I think raising Garen gave him the most pride. Losing Garen to the Covenant broke Tanvol. I think he snapped. The storm is broken and the sky is clear, but another cloud looms on the horizon. You must find Tunvil. You must stop what he plans. the ancients and their hubris. Careful, traveler. A curse is loose on Heimland Keep. You walk her paths at your own peril. What happened here? A troop of Covenant soldiers happened upon the keep. They attacked, thinking we were a military outpost. We tried to fend them off, but they fought past our defenses and managed to enter the vault. They smashed a relic and unleashed the curse. Is there any way I can help? We've made a potion to help the afflicted, but we've run out, and we need components to make more. Gather spectral essences by slaying cursed spirits, and collect tainted hearts from the dead. Then take them south to Merari. I'll see it done. I must attend to the afflicted here. My wife Merari could use your assistance. Disrupt the spirits and gather their dead hearts. It's grim work, but it must be done. What is this curse? I'm not entirely sure. 
some ghost of the past. Heimlin Keep sits atop a reliquary. We tend an archive of ancient magics, weapons, and relics. Even we, her stewards, don't know all that lies below. What does the curse do? It's like a disease that weakens and saps your life force. It's fast and it's deadly. And you don't just die. Your soul comes back as a dire apparition. That's foul, ancient magic. This isn't a military outpost? That's the irony. We are researchers, scholars in pursuit of knowledge. We used our spellcasting might to hold our own against the daggers. But if they had not released the curse, odds are we would all be dead. Why are the Telvani here? House Telvani hasn't joined the Ebonheart Pact, but we still have responsibilities in central Morrowind. We've kept watch over the reliquary under Heimlin Keep for generations. Trials of Saint Alessia. Fragment from the Trials of Saint Alessia. Akatosh made a covenant with Alessia in those days so long ago. He gathered the tangled skeins of oblivion, and knit them fast with the bloody sinews of his heart, and gave them to Alessia, saying, This shall be my token to you, that so long as your blood and oath hold true, yet so shall my blood and oath be true to you. This token shall be the amulet of kings, and the covenant shall be made between us, for I am the king of spirits, and you are the queen of mortals. As you shall stand witness for all mortal flesh, so shall I stand witness for all immortal spirits. And Akatosh drew from his breast a burning handful of his heart's blood, and he gave it into Alessia's hand, saying, This shall also be a token to you of our joined blood and pledged faith. So long as you and your descendants shall wear the amulet of kings, then shall this dragonfire burn, an eternal flame, as a sign to all men and gods of our faithfulness. So long as the dragonfire shall burn, to you, and to all generations, I swear that my heart's blood shall hold fast the gates of oblivion. So long as the blood of the dragon runs strong in her rulers, the glory of the empire shall extend in unbroken years. But should the dragon fires fail, and should no heir of our joined blood wear the amulet of kings, then shall the empire descend into darkness, and the demon lords of misrule shall govern the land. 
from the liturgy of the rekindling of the dragon fires. Who in oblivion are you? This place isn't safe. Baron sent me. He said you'd need these things to purge the curse. Ah, good. Sothasil has smiled on us, finally. All we needed was another pair of hands. Take those components and mix them in this Daedric urn. They'll coalesce into a potent etheric totem. That will be much better than the potion we were using. Combine them in the urn. Got it. Ah, the etheric totem. Excellent. Now we can do some good around here. What do you want me to do? The last few people in the keep are still cowering in their quarters. Ardras, Romali, Neron, and Hadril. Some of my assistants are working to hold back the curse, but I don't know how much longer they'll hold out. What is this totem for? It should disrupt the etheric energies of the curse. Use it on our fearful residents to shield them from the spirits. And if any of the cursed spirits rise up against you, you can use the totem to drive them back. I'll see this done, then. Actually, there's one more thing. One of the daggers managed to run for safety when the curse hit. I think she's hidden up in the keep's tower. I hate to say it, but you should probably go see if she's alright. Tell the civilians to flee, and find the soldier. Got it. Such courage. Keep in mind these people are terrified. Talk to them or use the totem, but get them moving. What else should I know about this curse? It's a dark legacy from the time of the Kaima. The things, put in the reliquary, were locked away for a reason. Whatever the daggers did accidentally released this spell plague. Why are your field assistants still here? They're brave souls but I'm worried about them. Without their help, we'd have lost the fight before you even arrived. They bought us time. Tell me about the Reliquary. The Reliquary is an ancient quarantine vault. The Talvani used it to imprison things that should never have been free. I imagine most things in the cache were destroyed by the Covenant's attack, but not the plague. Why didn't you use the totem before I arrived? A clever question. It never occurred to me that a totem might work. Not until I saw victims of the plague's final stages. What I saw gave me horrible but useful insights into the nature of the curse. Please, help me! My son died before my very eyes! What do I do?! Try to calm down. The Totem's aura will protect you. I'll try. But I'll never forgive the Covenant for my son's death. Run. Get out! I don't want to die! Be calm. The totem's aura will protect you. Did Telvani send you? Thank you, stranger. I'm going to make a run for it. Get moving. 
and be careful. My whole family dead. I'll never get out of here alive. Be still a moment. This totem will protect you. The spirits are bursting from the dying. I'll remember that day until the day I die. But that day won't be today. Tribunal, bless you. Go and go quickly. My wife got away, but I'm trapped. I'll never see her again. You'll see her again. The totem's aura will protect you. Three walk by your side, traveler. And may they curse the covenant for all they've done here. You'd best be running. Here to kill me? I wouldn't blame you. But save this mage at least. You can leave me to die. Why did your troops attack here? We received intelligence this was a military training ground for mages. Clearly... Clearly we were wrong. My commanding officer was so certain. She was the one that began smashing relics. She was the one that unleashed the curse. You sound like you regret what's happened. I'm a soldier. I came here under orders to take out military assets, not threaten scholars and harass teachers. Please, if you let me go, I won't make trouble. I just want to live. Very well. Get out of here. I saw that Covenant captain making for the gate. That was kind of you. In fact, you were kinder than I might have been. She said she'd stay out of trouble. And with the totem I got all of the residents out. Well done. While you were out saving people, I've been working on a way to stop this thing. And I think I'm onto something. The curse came out of the reliquary. And that's where we'll stop it. What was done must be undone. What should I do? Opening the reliquary must have awakened Keeper Vildris, its guardian spirit. Vildris will know where this curse came from, and how to stop it. What is the reliquary again? It's an ancient vault built to hold dangerous magical items. This one contains a hidden room where the most dangerous objects were kept. No doubt that's where the daggers released the curse. Keeper Vildris can lead you there. Good luck. I'll find Keeper Vildras and stop the curse.
You shouldn't be here. A terrible curse afflicts these halls. Marari sent me to help. Then I welcome you, Telvani Chosen. The spell plague emanates from the hidden chamber. Normally, a portal provides access, but the curse has disrupted it. How do we open the portal again? We must force the dead mages who created this curse to help us. Crack open the spell cages holding Rendrasa Malena and Ardras Velai. Summon them, fight them, bind them. Then find me. I'll summon, defeat, and bind the mages. Open the spell cages of the ancient sorcerers. When they appear, defeat them. Can you tell me the tale of the curse? Indeed. Long ago, when our people were still Kaima, this land was known as Veloth. The Kaima revered the Daedra, but they despised the agnostic clans of elves called Dwemer. The Kaima and Dwemer clashed again and again. Go on. Terrible weapons were made and used. The Spell Plague was one such weapon. It was created by two mendicant mages who worshipped the Daedric Prince Namira. That couldn't be good. This curse was terrible, and worse, uncontrollable. The Kaima Lords bound the curse in a hidden vault, then slew Rendrasa Malena and Ardras Velai and imprisoned them with their wicked creation. Creators of the curse have been invoked. Now we can put an end to this catastrophe. I'm ready. When the portal is open, enter the hidden chamber. Dispel the remnant of the ancient magics. Confront whatever powers the curse. Even I don't know what you must face within. I'm ready to face whatever is there. Be gone!
I sense change. The curse retreats. Broken. You've succeeded? It's done. The curse has been broken! No more will a spell plague corrupt the heart of Stonefalls. Baron Telvani must be told. I'll spread the news. The curse has been driven back into the reliquary. The afflicted are recovering. I assume we have you to thank for this. Yes. The spell plague curse is broken. Two of the Telvani are grateful to you. I'll spread word of your deeds to the others. Should you have need of us again, just ask. Until then, may Vivek guide your path.